Hi my lovelies, welcome to my channel and welcome to a brand new video. I hope you're all well and having a great day, having a great week. My name's Amanda if you're new here, love to have you stick around and hit the subscribe button, be part of my YouTube family. If you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in to watch today's video, which is going to be a decorate with me for Christmas. Now I'm in my bedroom, so you probably guessed from the title, I'm going to be decorating my bedroom for Christmas. Now a lot of you might find this a little bit strange, but I've been decorating my room for about four years now for Christmas and I just absolutely love it. And also from being ill and recovering, absolutely love my room. My room's like my little haven, my little escape. So then decorating it for Christmas is going to make me feel a lot better in myself, you know, I hope this video gives you inspiration if you haven't decorated your bedroom before for Christmas. I really hope this video gives you inspiration to get decorating, to get crafting and just decorate your bedroom. Just go for it guys, you know. I've got so much Christmas decorations like left over from previous years. I've also DIY'd a couple of decorations from, you know, from previous years and brought them into a new lease of life. I've got decorations to decorate my whole house and maybe my neighbours as well, <laughs> to be fair with you. So I thought, you know, why not use them to decorate my room? So I have got a theme. You guys have probably guessed it. If you've been around for a little while, you know that my favourite colour, my, my favourite colour, has always been green. So the thing that I'm going for today to decorate this room is white and green and a little bit of wood. So a little bit of neutral colors, like natural tones as well to add in there. I know it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. I just thought I'd film it and show you as well what I'm gonna be doing. So I'm gonna start with my bedside tables. Now my bedside tables are normally just styled like this, you know, which is just absolutely fine. I recently had an idea to put my books in between my lamp and also my vase to act as a little, what, what should I say, um, like book holder. Before I was putting my books down like this and then anytime I had a glass of water or a juice or some biscuits, you know, you sneak the biscuits into the bedroom, um, I, I would have nowhere to place them. So genius idea. I know it's like not rocket science guys, but I don't know why I had the books like that, you know? So I've had an idea to have my books like so. So I've already dusted down these shelves. I've done that this morning before I started filming and everything. So what I'm going to do is just style both bedside tables up for Christmas. So that's going to be the first area that I'm going to be doing in the room. Then I'm going to do my dressing table. I'm also going to style my bed as well. And I've got one item that I've taken from the living room. I don't know if you guys can guess. I, this item has been in my living room for the longest while. But now we put the Christmas tree up. I didn't know where to pull it. So I thought, oh, that can go in our bedroom. So yeah, stay tuned to see what that item is. If you have guessed already what that item is, do comment below what you think it is. Okay guys, do stay tuned, watch the video to the end to see my full bedroom decorated for Christmas. So I just thought I'd show you the items that I'm going to be using. You may have seen those already in my hauls, but I just thought I'd show them to you again. There's no harm in showing you again. So I'm gonna be using these lovely ceramic houses. I'm also going to be using this oil burner, which I just absolutely love, or wax melt burner. I've also got these wax melts, which I do absolutely love as well. Everything I absolutely love, guys. It's in the fragrance called Escape, Mandarin, Lemon, and Pink Grapefruit. This is absolutely gorgeous smell. I've also got this mini Christmas tree. I've also got this garland, which I picked up in Poundland. Just pull it in the bag so it all stays together. Then I've got some little beads there. I've also got these berries, which I also picked up in Poundland. <coughs> Excuse me. Then I've got these door handles. I'm going to swap out my bedside table ones for these. I do absolutely love these. These are from TK Maxx. And then I've got a couple of more ceramic houses. These ones actually light up. Then I've also got my bed cover, which has been freshly washed. This is from Primark. It's absolutely gorgeous fabric. It is in a brush cotton and it's also double sided. So, so I'm now just going to um, swap out this handle, okay, for this one here because I just think this looks more kind of festive -y. It's a ceramic door handle or door knob. Got this from TK Maxx. You know, they have so many lovely door handles in TK Maxx. This one that I'm taking off now as well is also from TK Maxx. Um, this is a marble effect one. I normally have one all year round. So just gonna swap this one out. You just thread it through 
there's a little washer as well that comes with it put the washer on and then just screw it back on with the bolt Then I'm just going to place this ceramic house on the side table like so. And really that's all I'm gonna do for this bedside table. This is hubby's side. So I just wanna keep it like minimalist, but still like give it a Christmas touch. You know, these also light up. So in the evening time, we can just have these on. Really, really lovely. So what I'll do once I've um, finished decorating, I'll close the blinds and like give you a sort of like a, an overview of how this looks in the evening time. You know, so I'm going to switch it off now just to save the batteries because we know batteries are becoming quite expensive now as well. So, yeah, I'm going to leave that on the side like that. And I think this looks absolutely beautiful, you know. So I was actually thinking to add some berries to my olive branches. I know they are olive branches, but I'm going to give them a little bit of a Christmas touch by adding some of these berries. Now, I picked these up in Poundland and I think... Um, you get a pack of 12 and I think these were one pound for a whole pack of 12 of these. They're absolutely beautiful, you know. They can actually be moved around as well, like you can position them how you like. So I'm just going to put a couple of them onto my olive branches, like so. You know, they've got kind of like a creamish tone to them, but I don't actually mind that. Okay, oh, I'm actually seeing that you can actually, oh, this is even better. You can actually just separate them, so you've got individual ones. So I might do that to put on some other things that I've got to display for Christmas. But for this, I'm just going to leave them together like so, and then just place them onto the olive branches. <laughs> other side of the bed now which is my side and I'm going to do exactly the same so I'm going to just take those berries and attach them to my olive branches now I think this is such a good idea because these olive branches I have them on my bedside table all year round so you know you can just jazz them up by adding some fairy lights or some berries like this and I just absolutely love how it looks to be fair with you now when I got these from Poundland I knew they were going to come in handy so I'm so happy that I picked these up. Because they're wired, they just twist really easily around the branches. Then I'm gonna swap out the door handle for this one as well on this side. So this is so easy to do, guys. Don't judge. <laughs> Don't judge what's inside the drawer. That needs a good declutter. But this is so easy to do. Like if you have a piece of furniture that you don't like the handles for, you can just buy some new handles, swap them out, and then you're good to go, you know? Just close that back up. Then I'm just gonna place another one of these ceramic houses on my bedside table there. And I've also got something else to add. Now this item, I haven't actually used it yet. I'm gonna show you. Now I don't know if you guys remember that I picked this up in Primark. It's a water bottle that comes with a glass as well. Now I like to drink water throughout the night, okay? And I'm always getting up, going downstairs, getting water, or I have a big bottle of water on my windowsill there. So, you know, I'm gonna use these things. I buy them and I just put them in the cupboard. I don't get to use them. So I thought, you know what? I'm gonna start using these things. So I've got this beautiful ribbed water bottle and this glass from Primark. I got them in the sale, guys. I think it was like something like three pounds for the set. I can't remember, but really affordable. So I'm also gonna use this. This is one of those acacia wood display plates. I got this from B&M. And I was using it downstairs in the living room, but if you've seen my decoration that I've done in the living room, I haven't really got any kind of um, wood effect in there. You know, it's more like monochrome, black and white, green, and a little bit of silver, I think so, but not so much wood. So 
I've decided to bring this up into my room, you know, just repurpose it. Like, I really like doing that. I really like, um, if I'm not using something in one room, I can change it and put it into another room. You know, some of the books that I do like to sort of just grab and read before bedtime. I've got this um, daily affirmation book, which is absolutely amazing. Just open it up onto any page and it's got this full of positive affirmations so example feel on top of the world i treat my body with love and respect you know there's so many in there i take goals seriously you know so much lovely quotes in there that you can just read in the morning in the evening all day long if you want to you know um yeah daily affirmations i've got that one and then i've also got this one which i just absolutely love this one because anytime i feel overwhelmed sometimes we want things in life but can't necessarily get them straight away you know you have to be patient and wait for things also when i feel like sorry also when i feel like i've got a lot of clutter around me i pick this book up and it really helps me to sort of like clear my mind clear my thoughts and just sort of get on with it and be grateful so this book is called all you need is less and this one is by vicky runt okay love that little book and then also this one, this is the A to Z to mindfulness. So I like to have those particular books at reach and also the Bible, of course. Okay, so, yeah, so I've got this lovely water jug and I've got this glass. I'm just going to place onto this acacia tray and that's going to be my little display for my bedside table, you know, going into the festive season. I'm also going to add a couple of crystals just on the side here as well just put them behind like that so that's my bedside table all styled up for christmas and also like going into the new year i can just remove this little house and then just keep this as it is i do like the berries in there as well to be fair so i might keep those in all year round so next i'm going to add this garland onto my headboard here now i've already got some lights on the headboard already these floral ones now these come in real handy in the evening time guys you know when i put this on it's enough light to create like a nice ambiance you know if i just like dozing off to sleep and i just want to have a little bit of light this is absolutely amazing so i'm going to leave these ones on and then just put this on top of it because this doesn't have any lights in it i'm just going to add these to the headboard and this would create a nice christmassy feel as well So next I'm going to style my bed. I've got this beautiful duvet cover set that I picked up in Primark. Now it is absolutely beautiful, but to me, it's a little bit too much. To keep my white duvet cover set on, I do absolutely love this. This is the one with the tassels on it. What I'm gonna do is just put the pillowcase over the ones that we've got here already. You see guys, that looks absolutely beautiful. The detail on there is absolutely stunning. And then it's also reversible. So I can have it on that side or I can have it on that side. What side do you think I've chosen to have it on guys? Do leave a note in the comments. Or what side do you prefer? So you've got this dark side or you've got that side. <laughs> oh dear, the choices that we have to make, eh? So I've decided to go with this side, you know, because it's not too overkill with the green. You know, I can easily just swap it over anyway if I wanted to go for that side. But I do prefer this side for now okay so I'm going to put these ones on the back and then these ones on the front
Now I'm going to add the duvet cover. I'm going to fold it in half because it is king size. And I'm literally just going to pull it over my bed, sort of at the halfway mark. I'm so happy that I decided to not put the duvet cover directly onto my bed, you know, because I think it would just be a bit overkill. The pattern on it is absolutely gorgeous, but for me, I think it'll be a bit too much. So I've broken it down. I've just folded it in half and I've used it as a throw. So now I'm going to style my dressing table area here. This is how it's looking at the moment. It looks absolutely lovely, but of course I'm gonna add a Christmas touch to it. So I'm going to use this mini Christmas tree, which I got from Ikea many years ago. I do absolutely love this tree because it looks really realistic. I've got two of them. One is in my living room on the fireplace. You would have seen how I displayed that and styled it for Christmas in my Decorate With Me For Christmas living room edition. Also got this plant pot that I like to use with this. So I'll just pop it in like that and then place it onto my dressing table. Then I've got my sleep candle. This is from B&M and this smells absolutely gorgeous, guys. I mean, I don't have any issues with sleep or anything, but I just like the smell of this and I also love the color, you know, so that's just gonna sit on the side there. Then I've also got this ceramic stag that I'm just gonna place by the tree like so. Then I've got my trinket tray. This is from the White Company, Charity Shop Find, White Company. I like to just put all my everyday earrings on there, my bracelets and all of that on there. Then I have one of these white ceramic townhouses. This is from Poundland and it only costs a pound, guys. This one might actually go into Oakley's room like later on when I do his room. But for now, I'm gonna place it on my dressing table. There's any space for it. Like so. Then I have these beads. Now these beads came from some, um, they're actually fairy light beads that I had around my mirror. The lights stopped working, you know, I don't know what's happened, the battery compartment thing stopped working. So I just retrieved these from there and repurposed them. I'm gonna place them onto the tree. <laughs> So I have this pack of black reeds. These are some reeds that I've collected from reed diffusers because like in the autumn time, I swapped out my reed diffusers to the natural color ones. But for Christmas, my, as you know, my theme is black, white and green. I've got the black ones. So I'm so glad I kept these. And what I'm gonna do, I've got this, um, this is just like a vase that I picked up in Primer. What I'm gonna do, I'm going to transform it into a reed diffuser. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna place five of the reeds in there, like so. Um, they are different sizes. So what I might do is put two of, three of those thicker ones, and then two of the slimmer ones. So it looks like that. And then just place it onto my little tray there. And I think that looks really, really lovely. So I haven't actually put any liquid or any fragrance inside this reed diffuser. I'm leaving it plain because I've got the candle. I've got that sleep candle from B&M. When I like this, it kind of fragrances the whole room up. You know, that's really all I need. Plus I've got perfume, hubby's got aftershave and all that kind of stuff. Don't wanna have too many smells in the room. Okay, so that's that. So now guys, I've got the last area in my room that I want to decorate for Christmas and it's this corner over here. Now I was thinking of putting a chair there, you know, so I can like sit there and read and so on, but it's quite a small area, you know, maybe in the new year I'll put a chair there, you know, I'm not even sure, 
but I've got something. I've got something that I've taken from the living room in place of our Christmas tree. Our Christmas tree has taken place of this item, I should say. And this item, I'm gonna show you guys. I'm just gonna put you up on the tripod. And it's this item here, guys. It's my olive tree, my faux olive tree. Now I'm gonna pull it in my room. It's gonna go in my room and I'm gonna sort of style it up for Christmas. I'm gonna add the berries to it. I'm gonna add some lights and it's gonna look absolutely beautiful. <laughs> so I've just rearranged the branches. I've got this um, green, lovely olive green piece of material. I'm just gonna place in the bottom. Then I'm going to add some of these berries. And you know what guys, while I'm doing this, it kind of, this leaf reminds me of mistletoe as well. It looks like, it's obviously olive, but it does look like it can be mistaken for mistletoe. Now I'm going to add these micro lights, which I picked up in Poundland. I'm going to add it to the tree. I've been hanging marbles in the tree, and I've lit my house with Christmas lights, so you should come back home to me. And when we wake up, oh my goodness, guys, looks absolutely beautiful. So guys, I really enjoyed decorating my room for Christmas this year. I absolutely love the theme. I really hope you enjoyed watching. Do give this video a like, a thumbs up. I really hope this video has inspired you to get decorating for Christmas. You know, whether it's your living room, your room, your kitchen, your children's room, you know, your hallway. You know, I really hope that this video has given you some inspiration to get decorating for Christmas, you know. Now that I've done it, guys, I feel great, honestly. It really has put me into the Christmas spirit. You know, we put the tree up a couple of days ago. If you haven't seen that video, I've compiled a playlist, okay? So there's a playlist, link is in the description box, which is Christmas 2023 with Amanda Oak Ince. You can click on that link and that will show you all my Christmas content so far. Okay, so I hope you stick around for more Christmas content guys like I said do give this video a thumbs up subscribe if you are new I love to have you stick around and join my YouTube family if you're returning thank you so much for clicking and watching today's video I do appreciate all of you guys take care keep well and I'll see you on the next video thanks for watching take care bye